You're watching Closing Bell on the world leader in business news, CNBC. Next up, we will take you behind the scenes at a company that's given a sweet makeover to a 5,000-year-old treat. The Closing Bell will be right back. Well, it is the second most popular snack food in America. Over 17 billion quarts a year are consumed in the U.S. And popcorn is about to hit the gourmet food category in a big way. In today's Outside the Box segment, CBC's Mike Hegedus adds the butter. It is one of those universal sounds, the popping of popcorn. Over 58 quarts per man, woman, and child are consumed in the U.S. per annum. A 5,000-year-old taste treat that may have never tasted like this. This is our regular caramel corn, but while it's still hot, we take it and we press it into a mold, and then we take it with the best chocolate that we use, <laughs> semi-sweet chocolate, and we dip it, and you've got a lollipop. We take that, and then we stripe it with some white chocolate. It's fantastic. No calories. N none at all. <laughs> this is the Dale and Thomas production facility in Teaneck, New Jersey, a two-year-old, already multi-million dollar purveyor of popcorn, but not just any popcorn. We're not talking about blue blueberry popcorn. We're talking about popcorn made with sun-dried blueberries and natural blueberry essence, uh, everything with dried strawberries. We've got a banana walnut that's made with real banana chips. Gourmet popcorn, but not just any gourmet popcorn. Back in Starbucks, Howard didn't invent coffee. We didn't invent espresso. Um, we created a great experience around a product. The Starbucks of gourmet popcorn, that's the plan, conceived by Warren Struhl, an entrepreneur that has built a couple of different companies and has always loved popcorn, nationally second and only to potato chips in snack popularity and consumption. We're basically taking that base commodity and we're saying, hey, you love it, you like it, you like the smell, you like what it tastes like, but we're going to raise the level. We're going to raise the level of that commodity to a different place. How about Times Square? That's the site of one of two New York City retail outlets Stroll opened to test his idea, both wildly successful, and one of them attracted some investment capital in the person of... We, as a part of uh, Dale and Thomas, the company... Isaiah Thomas, former NBA great and avowed lover of popcorn, eats it every day, tasted what Stroll had to offer and immediately wanted to invest. He did and became part of the company moniker. The Dale, by the way, is a gentleman from Popcorn, Indiana. Yes, there is such a place. The business plan is to continue to sell direct to consumers by catalog and over the internet and to open more stores where the product is produced on site all across the country. In the hundreds, David Orwasher came over from Starbucks to head up the push into retail, creating sit down, read your newspaper, and chat over a bowl environments. Popcorn at its core is a, is a social food, it's a shareable food, it's a craveable food, uh, it's an experience into itself. This is a peanut butter popcorn and raisin truffle. It's a great little treat. Outside the box in Teaneck, New Jersey, I'm Mike Hegedus for The Closing Bell.